This Sunday, tens of thousands of people will come out to run, walk, and race for a cure for breast cancer. And for many, it's a celebration of victory over the cancer. For one family I met, it's a celebration of life, the life of a vibrant woman who fought for years, and her fight continues to inspire. Who's that? Gima and you. A father and his sons remembering mom and Gima. In 2000, Dawn Jones found a lump. Stage three inflammatory breast cancer. When she told me I wanted to kick the doors down, when they did her original mastectomy, it was the size of a of a golf ball. Yeah, it's about it's about that big. And when she came back about five days later, it was the size of a swollen grapefruit. I said, baby, listen, guess what? You're still here. And sometimes you might have to have a little treatment. And then you go on with your life. Dawn was a warrior. She lived with stage four breast cancer for 10 years. During that time, she turned her diagnosis into a decision not to let cancer win. A spokesperson for Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Her motto? Live, love, walk sexy. Come on now. <laughs> Dawn's favorite color was red, so one of her dear friends, Phyllis Brownlee, wears it quite often. Oh, and the shoes? When she had neuropathy, it was very difficult for her to wear flat shoes. So she said when she started to wear heels, it made her feel better. And she took it to a whole new level. She also put her heart and soul into working for and participating in the race for the cure. She was always at the top of the steps, and she um, talked to everybody who came up to her because she was recognized, and she just helped them with their struggles. She meant a lot to everybody. Chris Burke, the youngest of two sons, lives in New York with his wife and family. Via Skype, he told me how his mom kept herself and others strong. It's not something basically that you can just see physically. You can feel it. You can feel it through her energy. The day after Christmas 2016, the sons had to find the energy to deal with a great loss, which posed for Michael an even greater question. How do I tell my son? I looked at him and he's just looking at me and I got tears coming down my eyes. I never said, hey, she passed away or anything like that. I just said, hey, your G-Ma's an angel. You know, she's not sick anymore. She's, she, she beat it. She won. Everybody, the greats, eventually lose. But at the same time, it's not always losing. Sometimes you gracefully bow out. She fought a great, 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 great battle, but she was tired. But she woke up each day vowing not to fight cancer, but to live. Her relentless 17-year crusade to do so serves as inspiration for so many. It's a brand new day in the fight against cancer as better treatments, education, and positive results have taken us from the darkness to dawn. And the Eyewitness News team will be there for warriors like Dawn, for survivors, for those fighting the disease, for the people who love them all. We will be broadcasting live from the race for the cure Sunday morning from 6 to 9 a.m. For more information, head to cbsphilly.com slash cure. 56 years young. And we all remember Dawn. Oh, she sure. was so involved and we all got to know no her over question the years. About it. Um, so, so what a loss, but what a wonderful way to remember beautiful her. Lady and her inside beautiful lady inside and out. Beautiful family. Oh, That's inside right. and such and a out. spark of life, Dawn. My gosh. Great story.